the first of which uh, it came up in one of the office hours because um, I think you will see me do this um, throughout the semester from time to time. So, you know, as you have seen, I've done a lot of these homework questions on recording. And um, unless there are follow up questions, I don't really want to do the same thing over and over. So, um, so most of the time when I'm doing these homework questions, you will first see me do this, you know, open up this on site and kind of go through the questions here and kind of match up. Okay, chapter three, problem 27. Oh, I've done that, so I don't need to do that. Now, this screen that I have access to, that's an instructor thing. You guys don't have access to the problem description that'll let you quickly see uh, this question is about OpenStax University Physics Volume 1, Chapter 3, Problem 48. Chapter 3, Problem 48, there it is. That's what it is. Um, so lacking access to that, you can still um, find the questions that's been done more quickly than just opening up each one of these videos and watching first a couple of minutes. The way you can do that is um, by using the fact that these are all, almost all of them are chapter and the questions. Not, not all, there are some questions that we've re I've written specifically for this class, but as you can see on this screen, um, well, it, for problems at two, all of them are from chapter three or chapter four N. So, uh, so this is how you can find those questions quickly. Uh, I, I don't know. Yeah. Uh, well, it, it, I think many of you might have figured it out already on your own. <laughs> Good job if you did. Um, if not, let me uh, show show to you um, how how from a student view how I would uh, look for any question that I was stumped on or whatever. So let's say I'm looking on um, working on question five, and um, and uh, I've. Oh, I don't know if this is one of the questions I've done. <laughs> I don't remember. Um, but let's say I've looked at it and either I'm stuck or I've done it. And then I'm not quite sure if I did it perf completely right. Then this is what I can do. What's um, useful is that the these wording of the question, you should be able to find that exact wording in the textbook. So I'm gonna go to the textbook. You can find the links to the. Uh, for this, I really recommend the online version of textbook because online version you can search. Um, if you have paper copy, the, the you can't really search through the paper copy. So let me go to the online version of the textbook. Look at that link wall. Let me. Um, and uh, yes, uh, let me see how well this will work. Uh, it might not work so well. Um, Ah, it does, yeah. So I'm just uh, searching a whole phrase. And as you look through the search result, um, you know, there should be a hit that's basically that phrase. And so you look at it and you see, oh, yeah, I guess that's uh, the exact question. Same form uh, as it's uh, like polynomial form, but with the different powers than here. Sometimes the question is randomized, so the numbers might be different. But yeah, that looks like the exact question. So this is chapter three, problem 78. So I look for, ah, there it is. Chapter three, problem 78. So that's the question that's been done before. And, and you can watch through it. A lot of these uh, questions, uh, a lot of these questions are about 10 to 20 minutes long because that's usually how long it takes to do a question. And um, so that's all there. And, uh, and you know, have, if uh, it ever happens where you've watched it through one of these and are still lost, you have still a question, then do let me know because uh, most of the videos that you see there that represent my kind of first attempt at the question. And, you know, I'm there might be a better way to explain some things. And I'd like to know if uh, anything there isn't clearly explained. So, so yeah, that's a, how you can quickly find any homework questions that's already been done on video before. I, you know, I say it here and I really don't recommend that you watch it first because that's just so many and so long. And I don't think you are going to remember <laughs> after having watched it through the videos because there's just so many.
But what it is useful for is um, after having attempted a question, if you got stuck, then one of these might be an instant help that might give you the information help that you need. Uh, if not, you know, let me know and so that I can follow up.